political dialogues I am Anshika Mishra today will talk about. A new way of looking at Parkinson's disease, say study. An international research team led by Kremble Brain Institute neurologist and senior scientist Dr. Anthony Lang has proposed a new model for classifying Parkinson's disease. In recent decades, researchers have uncovered several biological factors that underline Parkinson's disease. Key factors include a buildup of the protein alpha synuclein in the brain which leads to neurodegeneration and genetic factors that increase one's risk of developing the disease. They've also begun to develop reliable methods to test for these factors called biomarkers in these living patients. Despite these advancements, doctors still diagnose the disease based on clinical features such as the presence of tremors and other common motor symptoms. In a recent article published in Lancet Neurology, Dr. Lang's team proposed a new biologically based model for classifying Parkinson's disease called Syn Neurogy. According to Dr. Lang, who is the Lily Safra Chair in Movement Disorder at the University Health Network and the Jack Clark Chair for Parkinson's Disease Research and a professor in the Department of Medicine at the University of Toronto, this traditional approach to diagnosing Parkinson's disease does not account for the complex biological processes at play. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possesses in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. We know Parkinson's exist in the brain for one or two decades or longer before the clinical manifestations present, says Dr. Lan. So we believe current research must be driven by biological determinants of the disease rather than limited clinical descriptions of its signs and symptoms. He adds, we need a radically different way of looking at this disease. The model emphasizes the important interactions between three biological factors that contribute to the disease. First, the presence of the pathological alpha synuclein in the brain, S, evidence of neurodegeneration which occurs as the disease progresses, N, and the third, the presence of gene variants that cause or strongly predispose a person to the disease, characterized by G. According to the team, this SNG classification system better accounts for the biological heterogeneity of Parkinson's disease and the many ways the condition can present in patients. Consequently, the system could help researchers identify subgroups of patients that have distinct disease processes and develop clinically meaningful disease-modifying therapies. We need to recognize that Parkinson's can differ dramatically between patients. We are not dealing with a single disorder, explains Dr. Lang. A model provides a much broader, more holistic view of the disease and its causes. The team is confident that this new way of looking at Parkinson's disease will help researchers study its molecular basis, distinguish it from other neurodegenerative conditions that share common biological features, and identify targets for new therapies. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.